Here we are on the uh, rider stand, rider at CES, but then you look at it and there's a Nicola. Rider and Nicola, what an interesting combination. If we look at that, there's the truck itself. Um, if you want to have a look at it, obviously fuel cell, well known, just announced that CNH are involved in it. We have a look inside. Yeah, go ahead, because so, yeah, so it's sure. No, that's the first time it's I've had a proper look inside. We are definitely in the midst of all of this. Brilliant. Like supplies, Get it? Up, Just right. materials. So let's have a look at that. So the deal is that Ryder are actually doing contract hire deals, leasing deals, they're saying, um, where they also, what a lease is a lease, there's a lease, a contract hire is a lease, but with maintenance, and they're saying, yeah, they're actually going to do maintenance as well. So now we've got this play. Ryder are interesting because they've also got the ABB charger there. What we're trying to show is the fact that Ryder are involved in the future of ballistics, as you can see there with the connected supply to the chain. If you look at the Nicola side of it, then you've got a player there where they're doing a strategic agreement with Ryder. Nobody will say whether it's exclusive or non-exclusive, so you know it might be that Penske get involved, or, but certainly I think Ryder are the main players. It shows what Ryder are thinking, which is a winning combination, I think, as far as I'm concerned. So the biggest issue for, for Nicola is the infrastructure side of it and the maintenance side, and how do we get them maintained across the US? Although I think from what I'm telling, talking to uh, our friends at Nicola is the fact that they're trying to do strategic deals where you can get them in certain areas so they know where the vehicles are and start building a fuel cell infrastructure around that. So they're not, they're not going to scatter it all over the US, they're actually going to keep it in certain regions or states so that they can and look at where the customer really got, is going and then put fuel, uh, put fuel cell charging systems or infrastructures in there along the route that the customer's doing. Uh, but I think the strategic deal with CNH and Iveco is a really good movie. Moving on to Iveco, uh, moving on to our friends at Ryder, looking at what they're doing, uh, they can see the future, they can see, and I'm really impressed by the way that they're working on this one. And I think if they're looking at electric, then looking at fuel cell, they've got the two main alternative fuels for heavy trucks already boxed off. So again, and then with that comes connectivity uh, and uh, autonomous vehicles are just around there. So who would have expected to see rider trucks? Nicola, no problem, that's a given. Rider trucks at CES just tells you, and if you want an indication of how our industry is changing and how road transport is changing, look at that. Look at this booth and this stand, and then you recognize that, hey, there's a sea change coming along and this is it and this is going to be in Europe I can guarantee that